Hey traders, welcome back to our channel. I'm Kenya with BK Trading Academy and today we are diving into one of the most powerful tools that you could use as a swing trader and that is the relative strength index which is commonly known as the RSI. Now whether you're new to trading or you're a seasoned pro, understanding how to use the RSI effectively can be a game changer to your trading. In this video we're going to explore how to leverage the RSI in both the trending and a counter trend environment and particularly when price aligns with very strong support and resistance levels or supply and demand levels, which are my absolute favorite. So if you're new here, I want to encourage you to smash that like button on this video. Make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss our next upload. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. Let's go ahead and hop right into this tutorial. Yeah, I know I got problems and I don't know where to go. I don't want to put the blame on you. So before we delve into strategy, I want to talk to you a little bit about what RSI is. So the relative strength index is a momentum indicator that measures the speed and change of price. So you probably have seen the RSI, you've applied it to your chart, maybe you're completely brand new to trading, you have no idea what I'm talking about. I'm going to show you how to add the RSI to your chart, how to get the appropriate levels that I like to trade with, and then we will talk about how to use it. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to add the RSI indicator to your chart. I have price action at the top of GBP. JPY on the daily and you can see that I have the RSI relative strength index below my chart. Now all you have to do to add this indicator on trading view is to click on indicators at the top. You're then going to search relative strength index or RSI. If you simply just type RSI relative strength index will come up. You click on it and it will show on your chart. Now you'll see that I have the RSI right here. What you want to do is then click on settings and you want to click on input. You can leave chart selected. You want to have your RSI length at seven and pretty much everything else can stay the same. But what's most important is that you want to go to style and you want to make sure that you have everything selected just like mine. You can change the color to whatever you want. I just like BK Trading Academy colors. And then very important, you want to put your upper band at 80 and you want to put your lower band at 20. I do not use the middle band. So on my chart, you will notice that the 80 level is at the dotted line. If I move Move this selection to the right up and down you'll see how those numbers come in you can see price is at the 80 level i want you to notice each time what happens at the 80 level okay this is the 30 level right here where my crosshair is the 30 level could be a buy signal i preferably like the 20 level which would be somewhere around here like this one but it doesn't always reach to the 20 level on our daily time frame or our weekly time frame but as a swing trader these are very powerful signals you want to look for so now let's jump into how you would use this with a strategy. So the very first thing we're going to talk about is how to use RSI in a trending environment. So in a trending market, the RSI can help you identify potential entry points in the direction of the trend. So notice how, for example, we have an uptrend on GBP JPY. So as long as the price is moving upward, we want to be buying with the market. And how do we know that we have an uptrend? We simply take our trend line and we connect it to the swing. So you can see that we had a previous slight downtrend here. We then formed a triple bottom on this daily time frame, And then we had a bullish ride. We had a neckline of this triple bottom where previous support became resistant multiple times and then right above it we had a level of support within the same area and price continued to grow we definitely have higher highs and higher lows which we are identifying so we know that we have an uptrend once we confirm the directional movement of price we then need to find our levels so for example let's say we see that we have a flag formation here and then we had a breakout what we're going to do is wait for price to come back into this area and we want our previous resistance to become support so we want to look for some type of confluence as to why we will buy in this uptrend and we always want to buy at a higher low so now you can see that price was rising we got a correction or pullback we got a breakout price then came back to retest the area so resistance previous resistance then became support multiple times here so these would have been buying signals for us in this uptrend now when price comes to this area we want to make sure that we have an alert so this is going to be my support and I'm simply going to wait for price to come into this area and I'm going to look for a buy signal. I'm going to pull up my RSI. So I'm going to look for the RSI to be at least at the 30 level. And notice here on my daily time frame, the RSI is right at the 30 level. Now let's look back and let's look here. Notice that when we had a deep fall here, look where the RSI is now on the daily. So this is a very strong demand zone where I would expect buying pressure to come in. And that's exactly what happened. And this is my other favorite way to trade 
trade the RSI, which is in a counter trend environment. So in a counter trend, you're going to identify potential reversal points where the RSI falls below the 20 level. And this suggests that the market is oversold. So look at the sell off on GBP JPY and look how we fell into a demand area where we had an imbalance between buyers and sellers. So sellers clearly were in control and now buyers stepped in to take some of that control back. So notice that when price came to the area, this is where your RSI was and it was way below the 20 level. RSI actually got to about 14, which is an excellent sign that the market is going to turn around. You can also look for additional confirmations if you want. I usually try to look for about three good solid confirmations as to why I'm getting into a trade. But remember, price action is king. So as long as you have price action, then you are in a really good position. And if you can just read simple price action with supply and demand, for example, or strong support and resistance levels, this is an easy approach to getting into a high probability trade. Now, I'm talking a lot about swing trading, but you can also use the RSI for other ways that you trade too. If you're a scalper, if you are an intraday trader, you would basically apply this same concept. But in this video, I'm mainly talking to swing traders. Those of you who don't have a lot of screen time, perhaps you work a full-time job or you have a full-time business and you're just not able to be in front of the screen or you don't like to be in front of the screen all the time. Time. This is a perfect execution approach for you that you can add to your system. So just remember that when you are using the RSI, you want to incorporate very strong supply and demand levels or support and resistance, either one. And now I'm going to take you through one more example of how to do that. And then we'll go ahead and wrap up. All right. So here's another example of Euro AUD. I'm currently on the daily time frame, And let's just say that we wanted to trade this uptrend where price was moving upward. I'm going to find my trend. I'm then going to find my level. So notice that this is a very strong resistance level that became support. And now what I'm going to do is move down maybe to a lower time frame just to see what the price is doing and to see if I can find a strong RSI indication. So if I go down to the eight hour intraday and I just want to drill in a little bit, you can see that I also have an uptrend on the eight hour. Now remember I'm swing trading, right? I identified this level on the daily. So notice that we have gotten a correction or pullback into this area that was previous resistance. We also confirmed this on the higher time frame, and now this area is forming as support. Look at the RSI and notice that my RSI is right at the 27 level. So preferably I like it to be at the 20 level, but as long as it's below 30, that's still a really good indicator. And if you can align this with strong support and resistance, then you have yourself a solid signal. So that would be an example of how to use this in a trending environment. Now let's talk about counter trend. Now I'm on the weekly of Euro AUD. And let's say I want to look for a counter trend opportunity. The price has been going upward and it comes to a really strong supply zone and I feel that I'm possibly going to have a nice sell opportunity. So I want you to see this zone right here. Price tested this level back in October of 2020. Now you can see the strong rise and then we finally came to this level and you see that my RSI is right at the 80 level. This is an ideal opportunity and what you want to look forward to. You simply would have sold. Where would you have taken profit? You simply trade from zone to zone, from one reversal zone to the next. So I'm going to clone this zone. I'm going to bring it down to about right here because you can see that in the past when the price did fall from this level within a matter of about two to three weeks, this is exactly where it came to form support. This support became our resistance multiple times. And when it fell from this level in the past, look where it paused. Traders who are shorting are going to look left to see where did people take money off the table in the past. And that's exactly what they're going to do in the future. And that is how price repeats itself over time. So let's go ahead and wrap up. As you can see, the relative strength index or RSI is a very powerful tool that you can use inside of your swing trading system. And it's keeping it very, very simple. When you are buying in a trending market, you're going to look for your RSI to be preferably at the 20 level. If it's at the 30 level, that's great. You have a confirmation. But if it's at the 20 level, even stronger confirmation. If you are shorting in a trending environment or in a counter trend, you are going to look for price to be above the 80 level. And especially if you can combine that with very strong resistance or supply where we expect sellers to come in, that is a very strong confirmation. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Very simple and to the point, but a powerful tool that you can use in your swing trading arsenal. If you have any questions or comments, or if you've already been doing something like this that has helped your trading significantly, I would love to hear it in the comments. Otherwise, I will see you in the next training video. Hope this helps you. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to connect with us in all of our platforms below, which you can see in the description of the video. I'll see you in the next training.
Yeah, I know I got problems And I don't know where to go I don't wanna put the blame on it